Some say this second round of the H1N1 swine flu virus is going to be the worst yet. We spoke to one parent who brought her children here to keep them safe. At the Palm Springs Family Care Center, parents and children run to get the swine flu vaccine. Gloria Cortez and her daughters Brianna and Jasmine are next. I can prevent them from getting sick, then that's what I'll do. That way they don't miss out on school. She'll answer a few questions before her girls get the vaccine. According to the Department of Public Health, this is the first shipment of flu mist available. We're administering ages 2 through 12 right now, and as the supplies come in by the end of the month, then we'll be expanding to all the other age groups. Cortez has some concerns about the vaccine. Does it bother you that there's been limited tests on this vaccine? In a way, yes. Yes, it does, um, but I know they haven't had that much time. There's been no confirmation, but according to PreventDisease.com, the vaccine created by GlaxoSmithKline poses health risks and may contain traces of formaldehyde and thiomersal, a mercury. Cortez's yes, daughter will get flu mist by MedImmune instead. They suggest children under two and those with asthma to avoid the nasal spray. Brianna is okay. She's three years old. They walk out in great spirits. Cortez hopes it'll keep the entire family free of the swine flu. If it was just, if it's just one of them that's sick, you know, either I have to stay home from work or dad has to stay home, either one. And to find out more about swine flu and where you can get the vaccinations, all you have to do is log on to our website, kmir6.com. In Palm Springs, Anthony Alvarez, back to you.